How do I create a student group on my CEC zone? Hi, how are things going with your classes? The first day's teaching can be pretty stressful, but don't worry, you'll get through it. Thanks. It's been going really well in class. I'm spending more time learning about the CEC teaching resources, actually. Well, can I help? What are you looking at? I'm on my CEC zone. I've activated my digital content in my bookshelf, and now I need to create my student groups. Okay, let's create the first group. You'll do the same steps to create the others. You could do it in your sleep. I think I'll stay awake, thanks. Probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'm already in my bookshelf in my CEC zone. In the menu at the top left, click Group Management. Since you haven't created any groups yet, nothing will show up that's normal. Got it. To add a group, click on Create a New Group. Okay, Create. Now you'll need to enter a name for your student group. Like the Rascals or English 101 Monday Morning? <laughs> Whatever you want. You can also put a short description of the group to explain just how rascally they are, but that's optional. I think I'll restrain myself. So I click Create. Yep. You can add a description later. I'll give myself some time to get to know them better. Okay, now that you've created your group, you can add a picture to represent it. So you could... I'll go with something neutral. Good idea. Oh, here's another good idea. Copy the group access key and paste it into a document. Since you'll have to give it to your students so they can get to your online group, this is a good way to remember it. Oh, that's a great idea. I always forget my passwords and codes and such. Is it normal that my student group is empty? Oh, yes. They have to join the group. It doesn't happen automatically. Ah. As the students log in, their names will show up in the list. What if they lose their password? You can change the password for each student. Just click Edit. And what about students who change groups? Easy. Just delete them. Wow. This is really smart and simple. Once all of your students have joined the group, you'll be able to do a whole bunch of things. You can see their digital activity book, correct their work remotely, unlock interactive activities, or share resources with them. That's super interesting. And very, very useful. <laughs> Thanks so much for helping me out. Oh, no problem. Someone else did the same thing for me when I first started.